Welcome to the How to Use Hybrid Purchasing Program Funds tutorial. In this video, you will be introduced to the Hybrid Purchasing Program and how to access the funds associated with the program via your Customer Connect account. This video will walk you through how to redeem HPP credits for services and licenses, how to transfer credits between HPP funds, how to add a user to an HPP fund, and how to generate reports about that HPP fund. Let's begin with an overview of HPP. The hybrid purchasing program is targeted at customers looking for a flexible commercial model as they migrate workloads to the cloud and wish to maintain their current private cloud infrastructure. HPP combines the best of the EPP and SPP programs into a single transaction model. This model includes the rights to future services and allows for an SNS attached at the time of consumption. The purchase of HPP credits results in two funds. For every 100 US dollars MSRP or local currency equivalent, a customer will receive one fund balance of products and another for services. The first fund balance, which is for products, includes a $90 MSRP that can be used for perpetual licenses and SNS. The entire HPP purchase can be used for licensed products and SNS. The second fund balance, which is for services, includes a maximum $10 MSRP that can be used for subscription services. The customer is free to move balances between the two funds. However, the services pool balance cannot exceed 10% of the original HPP MSRP purchase, or $10 in this example. The transfer of credits between funds is subject to an exchange ratio that's based on the underlying discounts in the customer's agreement. To access and use the credits contained within the HPP funds, you will need a customer connect account. To access HPP funds, Log into your Customer Connect account, select Products and Accounts. Under Fund Management section, select the HPP SPP Fund option. You can see a list of all HPP funds on the My Funds page. From this page, you can access the settings, add additional fund users, transfer credits between HPP funds, view details about the deposits made to each fund, Click on the fund name to access the fund details page where you can download a report for all of the activity within each fund and download a report of all redemptions made against each fund. How do you redeem HPP credits toward the purchase of licenses? Let's review the customer policies for HPP products. The purchase of one HPP credit results in two funds being made available to the customer, one fund for products and related SNS, and another fund for services. With each HPP purchase, the fund balance is increased. Not all products may be available in all of the funds within a fund balance. Products are determined at a time when the customer's HPP order is booked by VMware. A first in, first out policy applies to the usage of funds by the customer. And remember, SNS will always co-term to the fund from which the licenses were charged. To redeem products, access the My Funds or Fund Details after logging into your Customer Connect account. Redeem licenses with HPP credits from the Products Fund by selecting the Redeem button in either page. Search by keyword or product SKU number and then make a selection from the drop down list of search results. On the Redeem Products page, the product license you selected will display. In the quantity field, enter the number of licenses needed. Select the Update Cart button and the order amount will display. In the Cart Subtotal field, select the Review Order button. There are two hyperlinks on the review and submit page which provide additional information about how the SNS pricing is formulated. When you're ready, scroll down and select the submit button. To complete the order, review the pricing information. Select the checkbox to agree to the terms and conditions. If applicable to your order, select a partner from the drop-down list. 
admin, select the submit button. You know your order was successfully submitted when you see this message. Make a note of the redemption ID number for your records. You can always view product redemptions on the fund details page under the redemption detail tile as shown here. How do you redeem HPP credits toward the purchase of services? Let's review the customer policies related to HPP services. Some of the policies that apply to products are also applicable to services. For example, the purchase of one HPP credit will result in two fund balances be made available to the customer, one for products and SNS and another for services. With each HPP purchase, the fund balance will be increased regardless of the customer. Regardless, the customer should maintain sufficient fund balances to cover all costs associated with their services. Additional HPP credits can be purchased at any time. Similar to products, a first in first out policy applies to services. Movement of credits from the products fund to the services fund cannot exceed the original allocation. However, there are no limitations on the movement of credits from the services fund to the products fund. To redeem products, access the My Funds or Fund details after logging into your Customer Connect account. Redeem services with SPP or HPPS credits from the services fund by selecting the Redeem button in either page. A configurator page will display. Determine whether you need to order a new service or add on service. In this example, we will order a new service. Click the Select to Start button and select the service from the drop down list. Based on the service selected, a series of radio buttons are now available. After you've made your selections, the service cost displays in the upper right corner of the screen. Select the Continue button in the bottom corner of the page. The Select Services page displays. Scroll down through a list of available subscription service add-ons and make any appropriate selections by entering a number in the quantity field. Click the Continue button when all selections have been made. The Review and Submit page is displayed where you can review details of your order. You can show or hide the calculations by clicking on the link. The cost fields include Do Now, includes the first month cost for any core service or add-ons with a monthly billing type, plus the full cost of any prepaid items for the duration of the term. Monthly cost for the service includes the cost per month of the core service and add-ons for the duration of the term. Total order commitment includes the total cost of the core service and add-ons for the duration of the term. You have the option of entering descriptive tags about your redemption order. You know your order was successfully submitted when you see this message. Make a note of the redemption ID number for your records. So back on my funds page, keep in mind that you can always view service redemptions on the fund details page as shown here. How do you transfer credits from one HPP fund to another? First, let's review the customer policies for balance transfers between funds. The exchange ratio is determined by the discounts on products and services. The transfer of credits from products to services is allowed, but it can never exceed the original subscription cap. As the cap is consumed, it cannot be raised by moving credits from products to services. However, the transfer of credits from services to products is allowed without any limitation. The customer can move their entire service fund balance to the product fund. Here's a scenario to help you better understand how transfers between funds work. A customer purchased a million dollar MSRP and HPP credits with 10% towards services, which amounts to $100,000. Based on the underlying discounts on the ELA, they can move the fund credits between products and services with a 0.75 exchange ratio and from services to products with a 1.333 exchange ratio. A customer moves $100,000 from services to products. Their fund balance for products increases from $900,000 to $1,033,330.
Next, they move $100,000 from products to services. Their fund balance for services will increase from zero to $75,000. Next, they wish to move $200,000 from products to services. This transfer will not be allowed because the resulting balance is greater than their original cap of $100,000. Now let's walk through a simple transfer of credits between funds. Select one of the transfer fund links as shown here. Using the two in front fields indicate which funds the credits are coming from and going to. In this example, we're transferring credits from the services fund to the products fund. Note that the exchange rate applicable to the transaction is listed. Enter the amount to be transferred in the transfer amount field and then select confirm transfer. You will see a success message with a reference ID number to confirm the transfer was made. A summary of the transaction is also provided. Now let's walk through the process of adding a user to an HPP fund. In the fund user section, click add new user. Enter the first name, last name, and email address of the user, then select continue. Select clear to start over, Select cancel to exit the add a user model without adding the fund user. Confirm that the new fund user has a customer connect account. Review the new fund user's contact information and select confirm. The super user and procurement contact for the entitlement account are alerted each time you add a new fund user. You can change the user redemption limit by deselecting the no limit checkbox. Specifying a redemption limit allows fund owners to limit how much fund users can redeem for new products and services and or add on to existing services. Back on the fund details page, you will see the new user's name in the fund users field. To manage limits, add additional users, you can access the settings page via the gear icon. There are a few reports available that are related to HPP funds. From the fund details page, you can view details about the deposits made to each fund, view redeemed products and services, download a report of all activity within each fund, and download a report of all redemptions made against each fund. Let's take another look at what was covered in this tutorial. This tutorial provided a high level review of what the hybrid purchasing program is and how the funds are managed. We walk through how to access both HPP funds, redeem HPP credits for licenses and services, transfer credits between the two HPP funds, add a user to a fund, and generate reports. Thanks for watching.